Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we are going to be talking about pages in Sketch 3. And in the last video, we talked about artboards as a way of separating your canvas into several different working environments here. So we now have these four artboards, right? But let's say we wanted to separate it even further, but we wanted to maintain things within the same project. Now, what we could do is of course you could just keep creating more artboards and this will become more cluttered with various artboards and canvases and that's all right. However, Sketch allows us to have another form of organizational structure to our projects by having completely separate canvases called pages. So if we come to the top left, you'll see that we hover over page and we can click this where it says page one, and you'll notice we have a box that shows us a picture of page one, but just underneath that is a plus. If we click that plus, it creates us a new canvas entirely with completely new uh, layers and everything. If we wanna jump back to page one, we can always just click back to page one. So now that we have a new page, we can get started creating our own artboards just like that. And then we can go ahead and let's say create a shape here. Let's just do something to add to this artboard. Let's just have a rounded rectangle, cool. So now if we click export, you'll notice that we don't just have the options from this particular page. In fact, we don't even have this artboard yet. I'll get into that in a second. But we have the options from the entire document. So you can have all of your things in separate pages if that's how you prefer to do it. And maybe even have one artboard per page if, if for some reason you'd like to do it like that. Uh, it just depends on how you'd like to structure your document, right? So we can even export things from our other pages inside of any of the pages, right? So it doesn't it doesn't matter because they're all contained in this document. So as long as we have our slices created, our, uh, our artboards can be exported no matter what. So if we click on this artboard, one thing you'll notice is down here in the bottom corner, there is a make exportable button. We need to click that and now we are allowed to export this. So if we do once again export, you can do command shift E and that's going to bring this open. You'll notice that not only do we have access to uh, the first page, but we also have the second page. Now, the reason why we had this uh, collision is because uh, Artboard 1 and Artboard 1 on page 2 have the same name. Now, it doesn't like that because it's going to be using that name to create an image, so we can click Cancel and right here on this artboard, let's go ahead and rename it. So we can just say this is uh, Demo2. So what's great about these artboards is not only are they used for organizational visually and exporting wise, but also the way you name them is going to be able to basically work like layer groups in Photoshop, um, and you're going to want to rename your artboards so that they make sense. Because of course, if anybody's ever getting into your sketch file and using it other than yourself, the last thing they want to see is a bunch of unnamed artboards and all just things everywhere. Just having a nice and organized project is the best way for everybody to be on the same page. Now you also notice that the name is right here in the top left of the artboard. So that's also great too. When you're showing your work to somebody else, you can easily explain what everything is because everything is going to be nice and labeled for you. So we created a page, but what other tools can we use with pages? Well, if you right click here, you can right click on a page and you can rename a page from page one, page two do whatever you'd like, or you can duplicate a page, completely duplicating it, or you can go ahead and delete a page. Now, duplicating a page might be useful if you had created a version of a project, and let's say you wanted to take that idea and go in a completely new direction 
and not have to worry about messing things up. By, du by duplicating the entire page, you have all of your assets from the previous page that you can then modify to this new direction you're taking. So pages are great for that, and they just keep things really clean. So use pages, use artboards, organize your sketch, and you will be very happy. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. Let us know if you have any questions or comments. We'd love to hear questions or comments about sketch or pretty much anything. Also, it should be noted that I create these videos in my nights and weekends. If you would like to support Level Up Tuts and our quest for free tutorials on the internet, you can sign up for Level Up Pro for $8.99 a month. And that's just really going to, the, the money is just really going to help us be able to produce more videos for a longer period of time. And it gives you some extra features in the process. So you can check that out and see what sort of features come by with that. And you know, just sign up for a month, for a year, sign up for whatever, or don't sign up at all. It's all right because the tutorials are gonna be free no matter what, but we could always use the help and support. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye.